Bottoms up. You know, <clears throat> this video is going to be selfish. This video is about, you know, that feeling when you uh, finally finish your big book. Right? My book is finally done, and um, this is a sort of... This video uh, is about, you know, giving hope to aspiring writers who, you know, struggle and uh, have it hard with their uh, writing. You know, that feeling when you finish your book, it, it is just, it is a combination of just sadness and excitement. When I finished my big-ass book, I was just so relieved that it was finally done, but at the same time, I was just so, so, you know, I, I despaired a little bit because, you know, I had to let, to let all of these characters go. I had to bury them. I had to detach from their friendship, right? To all of you writers uh, that are struggling, maybe with your first book, maybe you have writer's block, maybe you don't have the motivation or the inspiration or the mood to write, maybe you have doubts that you will not succeed. Uh, let me tell you, I had all of those, and I still do to some degree, <clears throat> but um. With all of that, I can tell you with confidence that you will finish your book eventually. You know, you don't have to hurry. Spend as much time as you need, perfect your book, improve upon it, and that is the best that you can do as an author. Writing is, for the most part, as you probably know, absolute torture. Absolute tor torture, because you don't know, I mean, you don't know what you're doing, for the most part. You don't know if that sentence is any good, you don't know if the way the plot is going is you know, feasible, you don't know if the characters are endearing or actually uh, human, but you keep on going, you keep on wrestling, you keep on fighting, because you have to write, you have to tell your story, these characters won't leave you alone, and, and you are possessed and obsessed with uh, telling this, uh, this story that is so important to you, right? And for me, for the last eight years, this book has been everything to me. It has been my life. It has been the center of my existence. And, you know, I never, I never thought that I could ever finish a book because I didn't know anything. I, I, I wasn't a writer. I had no skills when it came to writing. I just wanted to tell a story. I just wanted to write about these characters and, and I was a novice, right? And I had all the, the, all the doubts you can possibly imagine, okay? Just like you might have. And you know, you just have to take it, you have to endure it, you have to tolerate it, and you have to keep on writing. That is essential, right? Don't listen to anybody, because essentially nobody's going to believe in you, right? Nobody's going to believe in you. They're going to tell you that, you know, uh, you're probably not going to sell, right? You're. They're going to tell you that you're going to be um, poor for the rest of your life, and so on. Just like they told me. Uh, but I ignored them, of course. Uh, because we're writers, and most of all, we write because the story has to be told. 
we write because nothing else gives us the satisfaction than what it will feel like to hold that physical book in your hands, right? And let me tell you, when I held my book uh, <clears throat> for the first time, you know, yesterday, you know, I was just so surprised and overwhelmed that it was finally here. Uh, this part of my life was done with. And, uh, you know, it was just so fulfilling. It was just like, it was therapy, right? And writing is therapy for most of us. Writing is a way to solve all of our issues and problems. Uh, you know, for the most part, we become writers because essentially we do not have people to talk to about certain issues, right? So we put our problems on paper and we strive to find a solution you know and by doing this we we you know we are not cured but we are relieved in some way or another right So essentially, essentially, let me tell you, to all of you struggling writers, there is no better feeling than just holding your book, uh, your baby, for the first time and just really saying, you know, I did it, I did it, right? All of you writers that are struggling out there with your doubts, you know, suffering, in pain, despairing. Uh, let me tell you, one day you're gonna be, you're you're gonna succeed. Okay, you're gonna succeed. Keep on going. You know, just be confident in yourself because nobody else will. Nobody else will. Okay, just do your work with dedication. Pour your soul into all of these pages, into your book, and uh, uh, for better or ill. Uh, For better or worse, if it sells or not, it doesn't really matter. What's most important is that you should never have any regrets regarding all the years that you spent uh, writing because you have done something amazing with your life, that you took another path that is against the grain, against the norm, against the status quo, okay? Uh, because writing is phenomenal and reading is amazing and the fact that you contribute to this amazing art it, it is it is wonderful okay just just keep on writing and you will eventually uh you will eventually succeed in some way or another not necessarily financially but nevertheless you will be you will be happy okay you will be happy and that's the most important thing. Okay. Reading and writing. I mean, nothing beats it. Nothing. Without books, we as a species would be nothing. You know, art in general is what uh, uh, separates us from animals and from everything else. Because we can create something that can influence somebody for the better. You know, so keep at it, you know, keep at it. You know, life is a struggle. Writing is hardship and endurance. That's all that it is. Okay. So, um, you know, thanks for watching and uh, see ya.